Hey, IDS 302. Let's do this. By the way, um, I humbly accept this award on behalf of all the great dads out there. Happy Father's Day. Um, I don't think uh, <laughs> pale blue is my color. <laughs> but as you can see, it's a little wrinkly. I pull this baby out. Do I said once a year? Yeah, once a year. Uh, okay, thank you, my sons. All right, um, so uh, uh, yeah, yeah, my sons and my oldest son's girlfriend. You can't even see everybody, but yeah, we'll all be having pizza later. Uh, so anyways, um, welcome to module video 6.1. And um, as I mentioned, it's about 11 o'clock on Sunday, June 20th. So let's get into it. Um, first of all, I want to tell you because the course ends Friday. Did you know that? Friday at midnight, 11.59. Um, we've got to squeeze. We're squeezed, but you can do this because most everybody's doing so well in this class. Right now, um, 22 out of 24 are passing. 17 have A's or B's. And um, the other people that are struggling are just this close to getting over to 70 hump, and I'm sure they will. So um, everybody's involved. That's 22 students, okay? Um, on Tuesday, I am going to change your grade from percentage to point total, okay? Remember back at the syllabus quiz and everything, I emphasized that the final grade is based on points, not percentage. Uh, and you might ask, what's the difference? Well, the difference is this. If you look at 900 points being an A, you could say, well, that's 90% if there's 1,000 points. I've actually put out about 1,025, I think. So then if you were to take um, 900 points divided by, I think it's, well, let's say 1,025. It might be 1,020. That means you only need about an 88% to get an A, better than the leaving a percentage. So I want you to keep an eye on your points. It's up to you to check your points throughout the, uh, go, through, go through them and make sure I gave you the points you deserve to make sure that I gave you the points for the Easter eggs and any extra credit type of thing. I'm only human and I have slipped up. Most of you catch it and we get it cleared up. But just in case, I cannot wait because grades are going to be due this weekend formally to ASU. So I cannot just, you know, kind of wait. You need to be on top of that. All right. Um, so check your points and then shoot for where you're at. If you're, you know, you need 900 for an A, 800 for a B, 700 to pass the class. Uh, project, predict accordingly. Now, for some of you that might be really close to A already and getting that 900 points, you may be able to blow off a lot of your final paper. I don't think you will because you didn't get to that point by blowing things off. I don't think you're going to blow off the last thing, which is worth 150 points. So, and especially to do a good job on it because a lot of my students say they use this paper as representative of their um, top quality undergrad work, whether they're going into graduate school or whether as a sample writing sample or whether they're just using it for an example in terms of career. OK, it's important to be able to show that you can organize and go through a process that doesn't happen overnight. Right. So that's cool. Um, Easter egg number one, I will check my points. Got that Easter egg number one, I will check my points. OK, surveys. Got to get them done, you guys. You got to help out. I've had people that are saying they're not having much help here. If you're some that doesn't have, like I said, we've got, let's say, 20 active students in this class. I would like to see everybody, all those 20, at least 20 out of the 22, get their peers done. Okay. Now, granted, that's you and 19 others, but what have you. I'm saying you need to go through these. Starting with alphabetical, I don't know how it looks for you, but if it's alphabetical, you're starting with John Arroyo and you're working all you're working way your way down to Natalie Westling and you're doing everybody's survey. Okay. Now, if by tonight, early tomorrow, late tonight, you notice you're not getting a response, 
please let me know if you want me to specifically use your name in an announcement tomorrow and say, get in there and do such and such, so and so's survey, right? Everybody should have me in their survey having done one. Then you need to send them out, okay? You need to get family and friends and relatives and anybody else to do it. Yes, they're not random adults, correct. But they're adults and they're random as far as I'm concerned. Have people do your survey, okay? Have people do your survey. This is so important. Going back to the first class when I said you have to have data to fulfill. you got to be a requirement of adding knowledge to your field. That's what research is. This whole class is research. Without data, you're going to research. All you got is a compilation of information akin to me, you know, um, researching a new car. Okay. So data is important. Get her done. Okay. Don't cheat it. Don't fake it. Make sure you there's people out there to do it. All right. I'm going to ask each and every one of you not to let your fellow student down. Okay. No man or woman gets left behind. <laughs> so do that survey. All right. Um, Let's talk about, uh, let's do Easter egg number two. So get it through everybody's head. Easter egg number two, I will do all the surveys. Okay. I just did a survey that a colleague sent out from a, 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 a like a faculty exchange uh, scholar from Poland who put something out about technology and stuff. And I did, and it was a little like six pages worth of questions. Um, you know, you contribute, okay? Contribute. All right. Um, so this week is all about the final paper, okay? You guys did really well in the discussion. Um, one, two, three, four, five. I'm only missing half a dozen or so. Uh, and then Tanner step four is due tonight. Try to get that going. Um, two are in, okay? Now, this week then, you've got this video. You got the next video and you got the final paper with 150. That's it. Focus. Focus like a laser on this. I will talk more about the final paper in detail in the next video. However, obviously, you can look at the um, sample. Okay. Also, look at the learning materials in module six, and I give everybody a rundown of some, like a mini checklist to make sure you've got it under under or in control here um if you have any questions on this you're going to let me know right you're going to ask me um i'm downloading the final paper right now and you can look at it now notice the cover page notice the page numbers on the bottom these are all in word as headings and and, and footers that you can use okay Notice the table of contents is very organized. There's only like the last one on page two might be off a little bit, and some of them are a little bit off, but overall they're really good. Now, table of contents, if you don't know how to set one up, it's going to be a problem for you. You're going to find it snaking on the right margin. You can either Google how to format a table of contents in Word. Okay, I call it TOC, table of contents. Or I will allow you here to copy and paste this one and then adjust it to your paper accordingly. Okay. I mean, you have to adjust page numbers and any subsections or things. I can't guarantee they're the same, but for the format wise, it might help you. Okay. Notice how the table of contents, the cover page is separate. Then it starts table of contents and wherever that table of contents ends, the rest of that page is blank going to the next one. Okay. And you got your step one. Okay, and look at it. This is beautiful. Step two, I'm going just flying through this. Then you got the step three annotated. Then you've got step four, which you're going to submit tonight. Then you got your step five, and I want to call your attention to step five and looking at the pie charts and the bar graphs that are used. Everybody can do it differently, but there are pie charts and pie graphs and bar charts. No. Pie charts and bar graphs, okay? Make sure you tell me in your data how many respondents you had. Some people forget that. 
It should be right off the bat. Like here, they were, there were 38 participants in this research, age 20 to 69. Notice how she broke down the, the demographics right away. Okay, how many? What gender? Age range? Great. Okay, broke it down. Take a look at how it's done. This is where it gets exciting. I'm sure you're going to like doing this, all right? It, it, it can really um, be fun to do this, right? Okay, so... Uh, and then get, I'm going to go into more details coming up. Notice then, though, after step five ends, got a summary. She's got uh, she's got an analysis of each question. She's got analysis of the data, summer, summary of the survey data, the integrative understanding of the issue. The only the only weak area in this paper, I think it's a little short, but it's good. Okay. Again, this is hard to do, but you're doing it. You're doing integrative research and you're doing it like this. It's great. Got She's got the work cited. Okay, now it's missing the hot links that I would like to see. You understand it's missing the hot links. And then after that, it's got an appendix with the questions copied. I mean, not copy and pasted, but written out with choices of answers. Okay. And then there's appendix B, response chart. So I'm impressed. Uh, and so this thing goes to 37 pages, but when you break it down, it just adds up as you go. Okay. I'll try to look for another one to post hopefully. And, uh, but this is a very good representation. Okay. Uh, other than that, let's see here. I think that should do it. Um, oh yes. The course evaluation, which I had you do Easter eggs on last week or the week before. Let's give it, let's get a live update, shall we, on course eval, my course eval. Okay. Um, see those top two? That's this course. You see what I've got so far? Two and two. Two out of 12 and two out of 15. Four people have done this course evaluation. Four. This is after, okay, it closes in four days, granted, okay? But get it done, get it out of the way. I'd appreciate it. Really need you to get this done, okay? Um, all right. Uh, okay, oh, on Wednesday, I'm going in to get a balloon into my heart. I'm going to get an angioplasty on Wednesday. And then I assume a stent put in because of some blockage I have in a particular artery. Uh, I'm not thrilled, but... I'm happy because it was caught before I had a heart attack. So um, I'm going to be out of commission on Wednesday. Hopefully that's the only day I'll be out of commission. Uh, I'll try to do a second video on Tuesday or Wednesday from the hospital. I think I'm spending the night. Um, but obviously that's getting a little bit traumatic, don't you think, if I'm sitting there in a hospital bed doing my video. Wow. Um, so I will do, uh, I'll probably do it Tuesday. I know it's quick, but the class ends Friday. Uh, I also want to address any potential issues some people might have. So send me your questions, comments, and concerns. Again, don't expect responses on Wednesday though. Okay. And the paper's due by 11.59 PM on Friday, uh, June 25th. That should do it. We're at 14 minutes approximately. You guys have a great, uh, uh, happy Father's Day and um, great weekend and keep cool. All right. Forks up. Peace.